What's up YouTube? In this video I'm going to show you the difference between a real EOTech and one of the um, $50 knockoffs. So let's get started. First I'm going to open up the new the, the new fake EOTech. Uh, I got this on eBay for uh, uh, around $55 I think. It comes in a nice box. I mean, if you didn't know no better, you know, you'd, you'd think it was a real one. Only, it, you know, it doesn't have the um, hard plastic case that EOTex generally come with. But it, it's still, it's packaged real nice, you know. Got plenty of cushion around it. Okay. It comes with a little hex key to adjust just everything but yeah this is the um the knockoff of the um I think it's the XPS 2 maybe but you can see it's like the the shorter version of the it's, it's just a shorter version even says EOTech right on the side of it. it has the little laser warning and for law enforcement military use like just looking at it from a distance, it, you know, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. The difference is in, you know, just the overall quality of it. First thing I noticed when I picked this up is the buttons. Obviously, I'm not, you can't feel it over the internet, but the, the buttons, they are really soft. They just, on the EOTech, the buttons are a lot more st stiff and they feel like they, they hold up better. They're sturdy um they feel like you know waterproof these I, I highly doubt I would not want to get this wet <laughs> but and on this one it has the um, little night vision button but on the knockoffs all that does is change the um, reticle to green instead of red it, do, it doesn't actually have a night vision mode so let me turn it on real quick Okay. Let's see if I can get the camera in there. There we go. You see, on this particular one, it's got the um the 65 MOA ring, and it's got rather than just the dot, it has a little a dot with a line down to the bottom of the circle, which is nice. It's hard to tell on here, but the reticle is really clear looking compared to you know a real EOTech but watch you see when I tilt it you see how the reticle starts to disappear whenever like you can see the glass it, it just kinda covers up the reticle right here that's one surefire way to tell it's not a real EOTech but yeah that's so your 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 field of vision in here is a lot is less it's um decreased compared to the EOTech for one um got the brightness adjustment and as you see whenever I hit the night vision button it turns green I do like the green reticle. That'd be that'd be nice if the EOTech had that feature. I, I do like that. But yeah, it feels pretty substantial. Um, I mean, this this outer shell's metal, and um, I'm assuming this is some kind of hard polymer or something. I don't know. But the um, the battery door is metal. I can tell. Also, this comes with a quick, a quick release. Instead of a, um, a screw-on type. Although, personally, I don't like this because it, to me, it seems like it might not hold zero as well as the, um, the real deal right here. Like, I'd prefer if it just had a screw that I could tighten as opposed to just flipping the switch. Okay. 
Well, that's the knockoff EOTech. The real EOTech is obviously a lot more expensive. I believe this model, five, the 552, which I have here, it generally goes for about five or six hundred, maybe seven hundred dollars brand new. I'm not sure. I got mine used um, for three fifty, and I mean, I love it. It works great. You can really tell the quality. The buttons, they're real, they're real substantial feeling. And when you look at the reticle, see, when I tilt the screen, the reticle doesn't disappear until it's just covered up by the, the rim here. See what I'm saying? And the reticle does appear a little more granulated as opposed to real clear. And from what I've read and seen, I, I think I believe it's because this is a this is actually used with a laser. The knockoff is actually an LED rather than a laser. I believe, that's how I understand it. And you see got the brightness settings and then go back down and with this one since this is a 552 it is equipped with night vision and if I press the button you see it disappears if if I had night vision goggles on I'd see that reticle obviously turn it back on and it comes back. I just peeled my laser sticker off because it was kind of gummed up. But yeah. That's the difference between a knockoff EOTech and a real EOTech. As for this one, I haven't actually shot the gun with this, so I don't know if it will hold zero. But, I honestly, after messing with it, I wouldn't waste my money on one. I'm, I, like to, I like to know I have a quality product, so I would suggest, unless you're, just, unless you're just putting it on an airsoft rifle or something, but if you're putting it on a real rifle, get the real thing. Don't, don't bother with this thing. I mean, it, it's... I guess if you're just looking for something to play with or make your gun look cool, you know, it's worth it. But, I don't know. You, you have to talk to somebody who's actually shot one and, see, you know, saw if it holds zero and whatnot. But, I hope that answers any questions you have about the difference between the, the real EOTech and the um, knockoff. Because I, I know when I was looking at them, I, I had a lot of questions, and I figured this video might help somebody who might be in my in my um, situation. Another thing, by when I got mine, I didn't mine didn't have a case with it. The guy lost it, so sadly I don't have the nice plastic case that the real Eotex come with. But oh well. But yeah, like like I said, definitely. Pro Real EOTech. There we go. Let's see, I'm going to attempt to get both reticles on the screen at one time. You see? I don't know if you... In, if you look, there's... There's a glare on this, on the fake one. I know, and I'm sure you can see that that white glare that I got the reticle on right there. Where I, there's where where there's just nothing on the the real EOTech. And watch, on the left here, you see the reticle disappear. And on here, you don't you don't see it disappear until it actually is covered by the rim of the of the um EOTech. That thing. But yeah, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Just shoot me a comment. I'll be. I'll feel free to answer them. And hope you enjoyed the video.